Hello students, today I am going to explain the block diagram of ET51. So myself Prakyati working as uh, assistant professor in department of electrical and electronics engineering SJB Institute of Technology. So as you all know that ET51 uh, is the one of the uh, microcontroller. It is widely used in uh, small applications and uh, maybe in the larger application. So in AT51, uh, we have a main uh, thing is uh, it is having uh, 128 bytes of RAM. So that is the one thing. And uh, it is having a two timers, that is timer zero and timer one. Whenever you need an uh, interruption and whenever you need an delay, you can use this uh, timer zero and timer. And it has a serial port uh, communication that is one is transmission and one is receiving. Okay, so transmit and receive. So here also in serial communication, whenever you need the, any of the data which has to be sent to the output devices through the microcontroller, we can use this serial port. And it is having a four input and output ports that is P0, P1, P2 and P3 and it has 4K ROM okay, that is an external memory. It is having 0000H to the 4000H uh, uh, the location uh, you can get it from the ROM. And it has an interrupt control. So external interrupt also it can use and internally also it can use the interrupt. And it has arithmetic and logical unit uh, with A, B, P, S, W, O, P, C and D, P, D, R. So you can do the arithmetic operation and logical operation uh, with the help of uh, accumulator A, B, uh, P, S, W, O, program status word, or program uh, counter and uh, D, P, D, R that is data pointer, you can use that. And it has a special function register from your RAM location ATH to FFH. So special function register include IE, interrupt enabler, and IP, internet protocol. Then PCON, this is an, uh, a register which is used uh, during the communication. And uh, yes, buffer, this is also the register used in the uh, used in the serial communications uh, uh, bit. So this is how the structure of our 8051 microcontroller. So it is having a RAM, ROM, internet controller, timer, serial port communication, input output ports, bus controller, uh, then uh, this is the external pulse uh, which is required, then it is going to have the external clock. So some features of uh, AT51 we have, that is, uh, so an 88-bit ALU, arithmetic logical unit with AB register and 8-bit PSW. So this is the one of the feature of AT51. Uh, it is having a 16-bit address and 8-bit data bus. So address bus may be a 16-bit. And data bus, it is having a 8-bit. 16-bit program counter, it is having data pointer. And 8-bit stack pointer, as I told. And uh, initial default value is 07H. So in the next bit, I'm going to explain what is push and pop instruction. Based on that push and pop instruction, you will be having a stack pointer. Basically, this stack pointer is uh, uh, towards at the location 07H. It is there in the location 07H by default. So that is the thing you can understand whenever we are doing the push and pop instruction. And it is having a hardware memory architecture that is the program memory and data memory have separate address uh, space from 0000H and separate control signal. So it is having a complex instruction set computer architecture, special bit uh, manipulation instruction, clock and oscillator circuit, internal ROM, it is having uh, 128 bytes of data and uh, 
four register pan that is R0, R1, R2 and R3 each consisting of eight register, 16 bytes with addressable memory and 80 bytes of general purpose data memory, two 16 bit timers bar counters that is T0 and T0 and T1, two external interrupt INT1 and INT1 and three internal interrupts T0, T1 and SI. So 32 input output pins and 4 8 bit ports. So P0 to P3 full duplex. This is a full duplex is nothing but both the side communication it is having that is full duplex. Some special function register T con, T mode, S con, P con, S buffer, IP and IE are enabled in this 8051. So, hardware versus RAM uh, architecture and Cisco service, it is not uh, uh, necessary for here. And uh, it is having, uh, as I told, these are all the special features of uh, 8051. So, it is having one arithmetical and logical uh, unit. Uh, with the help of this arithmetical and logical unit, uh, you can perform addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and logical operation like R and, and XR. A and, B, A and B CPU register. These are all belongs to the uh, special function register that is accumulator A and register B. So these are all used uh, whenever it is required. So thank you. Uh, the next section is session will be the push and pop instruction how to perform that. Thank you.